Hello and welcome to another week of energy reading starting on the 28th of August 2017. So let's have a look at the overall energy before we go into the individual star signs. And I'm drawn to, to this deck. And then we just, um, you know, have a look, as it were. Overall energy for next week. Right, so next week is going to be, overall speaking, quite interesting, because you have to protect your integrity and make sure that you're not boxed in. It's quite interesting um, when uh, you have ideas this week, uh, stay true to yourself. Um, also make sure that um, when, when you talk to people, um, that they understand when you're not representing a, a their, their opinion. So if you have a, a difference of opinion, uh, make, your, make yourself known. And uh, the most important thing, like I said earlier, is, is to not be boxed in. Don't agree to anything that really isn't you. Um, and um, that doesn't mean that the, the energy uh, is going to be heavy. It doesn't really feel that heavy yet, but we'll see when we go into the individual star signs. I think it's just a more general thing to make sure that you're not boxed in. And that could also include, uh, you know, work um, where you just shouldn't be put into a, uh, into a corner where you're not ready or you're not, you don't feel welcome or you just don't want to be in, if that makes sense, right? So that's all good. Let's have a look at Virgo, because we are out of Leo now, we are starting at the, with the star sign of Virgo. And let's see what we got for the Virgo people. Okay. For the Virgo people, um, someone around you is not speaking the truth. Um, they hide it very well. So there is someone um, in your energy field that is um, deceiving you um, and uh, you have what is called the hunter of death. And that means that this week it will actually come out and um, the situation cannot be fixed. Very likely you will have to let that person go. So that's, that's short and sweet and sounds traumatic. It's not necessarily meant to sound that traumatic. It just means that should you see or feel this week that someone is not truthful to you, there's no point carrying them with you in your life because you deserve better. Okie dokie, that's Virgo going into Libra. Okay, for um, Libra people this week, um, Although you are in a situation where you feel you're losing a little bit of space, you're not quite um, capable of maneuvering um, and, and being in your full strength, whatever life throws at you this week, you will manage. You will be just fine. Um, you got the, the woodpecker here and the, symbol, the symbology is, or symbolism is, that no matter how crooked the tree is, which represents your life, the woodpecker can still work it. So even if you are losing a little bit of space and you feel, um, uh, what that means is that you feel a little bit uncomfortable um, uh, this week at times. Um, but whatever life throws at you, you will be fine. Okie doke. Going into Scorpio. Now that's very interesting um, for, for the Scorpio because you have the wood duck and the moose and they are quite um, oppositional in, in, uh, in many ways uh, with regards to, to symbolism. Um, you, you will be able this week to, um, to speak your truth fully protected. So you're quite protected to, to speak your truth and you will also, no matter what happens this week, you will not fail but you're not ready this week for new beginnings. So um, if you already have decided on something new, that's not affected, if that makes sense, but you would have to go easy this week and don't make any, any um, uh, rush decisions. Um, you need a little bit more time 
to really feel in to yourself and say like, well, if this is where I'm going, can I, can I trust where I'm going? And uh, this is not to say that you should be doubtful if new, new things coming up, but, um, you know, detach yourself from it and see how do I feel when I'm not that um, attached to it? Is this still what I would like to do? And then take it from there. Okey doke. But the good thing is this week um, you cannot fail, so there is no no major uh, issues uh, heading your way this week. Okay, so that that was Scorpio moving into Sagittarius. Right. This week. For the Sagittarius people, it's all about healing. You have what is called the shaman of purification, of purification and the spirit of healing. So this week it's important to cleanse yourself, uh, probably go into detox, make sure that you're eating right this week, that you drink loads of water, but mainly that you are um, cleansing wherever, uh, especially your, your, your home and your house. You know, you can use white sage, it is just amazing. You could also use... Um, uh, sound tools or even a pendulum but but the main message to you this week is cleanse your surroundings uh, go into detox be healthy this this week and um, and allow yourself to heal there will be um, a lot of trauma is probably a too strong a word but there will be older stuff that has been sitting inside you and with you for a long time is now ready to be released and and that's a good thing because remember there are so many people that that uh, probably are stuck and can't really release and you are offered that chance uh, to purify yourself and to, and to heal, which is absolutely awesome. So that's Sagittarius. Now we're going into Capricorn. I'll draw into this deck. There we go, card falls out, wants to be read. And we take this one as well. Okay. For Capricorns, this week you have to focus on your domestic situation. Inside of your house, you have to be a leader. So if there are things in your home that don't work well, then this, this week you have to be um, strong to, uh, to address them and, have them and have them sorted. It's quite important. So should you, um, I just make this up as a picture, should you be in a situation where, where you are no longer happy in your relationship, for instance, or should you live with, um, with, with testing kids, <laughs> for instance, right? Uh, this is the week to not be uh, forceful as such, but to be um, the leader and, um, uh, and secure your space, that rank, and um, just address things that are no longer working for better harmony, right? So that's, that's that. Um, and now we have Aquarius. This is the age of Aquarius. Here we go. Okay. Um, you have the barn owl and the osprey, and both animals are birds. And when you have birds, the main message is, is to always be much higher in how you see the world and how you see things. So this week you have to be, um, you obviously are already highly spiritual, but you have to live your spirituality this week and you have to really listen to what's being said around you and pay attention to what you are also seeing that is not said. Um, so this week is about observing situations and feeling these situations and, and understanding that, that your feelings won't lie to you and what you really feel is the truth uh, about, about these matters and then um, act accordingly and, um, and solve it. This is actually um, quite good because uh, birds have high energy so there's, less, there's little aggression um, in, in that symbol, uh, symbolism um, so you will be, you will be alright. Okey doke. So that was Aquarius going into Pisces. Yeah, I'm drawn to this deck. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Being Pisces myself, I remember last week 
I said that loads of things from the past, past trauma, older things are coming up. And um, you virtually have uh, the, the, same, the same card, uh, if that makes sense. So we are, us Pisces, we're not done releasing older stuff this week. It's actually, to be quite fair, it's a good thing that uh, stuff that no longer works for you can finally be released, but the releasing is not over yet. Um, and that could be uh, or mean that you will be quite emotional this week, um, but that's perfectly fine. Why, why shouldn't you? Uh, but just remember, um, if you feel, you know, I had a good cry, for instance, or a couple of days of good cries, cries it may not be over. The good thing is that you have, um, that you have a, a deer here, right? or a little caribou actually, and every time you have an animal with antlers, you're quite protected. So, which means that your guides and your universe, they want you to heal. So you're in good hands there. You know, trust, trust your guides, trust your spirituality, trust uh, whoever it is you work with, uh, trust feathers that fall in front of you, all these kind of things. Just trust whatever gift the universe has got for you this week and, um, and keep releasing, right? And I shall do the same, I suppose. <laughs> so that was Pisces, going into Aries. Right. Aries people, this week um, you have to find a way to experience solitude this week. You need a lot of space this week and you really should be in nature. Nature is your, your biggest helper this week. It's also your best guide and your best teacher this week. Um, and when you are spending time in nature, you ought to be in a reflective mood. And uh, you will get loads of messages uh, when you're in nature. Um, good idea, for instance, is really um, to actually go and hug a tree. There are guides that um, guard this tree. So there's, there's a guide next to each tree. And when you hug that tree, uh, number one, the tree really appreciates it. And it's a really great feeling to, to be a tree hugger. And the other thing is, is that you will very likely, when you are um, calm enough, you will manage to, to, to see the guide and maybe get some, some messages uh, while hugging the trees. So that's really, really good. But um, please find a way, for your own sake, to, to be in nature. That's really, really important. Okay? Taurus. Both my sister and my father are Tauruses, but they don't speak any English really. So, uh, so they never watch my video, and I certainly don't tell them what, what, what's in the card. <laughs> cards. But it's always interesting when you have family members that you remember, oh yeah, they're Tauruses, um, and you, you see what's, what's up uh, with them. So for Tauruses this week, um, there is a little bit of issues with being misunderstood and, and not being heard properly. For, for you Tauruses, it's really, really important this week to um, make sure that you are being listened to. It's quite, quite important. You have another thing here called the mule deer. And again, it's an animal with antlers, uh, which means, again, you have this protection. The good thing about this, this deer is that the antlers are sideways and not forwards, which means what will not suit you this week is forcefulness. And, um, and assertiveness and aggression will not su suit you uh, or serve you this week at all. So there will be uh, situations or people that will misunderstand you um, or, for instance, just listen to respond rather than to understand. Um, but you have to remember you're quite protected and uh, you, in, in all things this week you have to be calm in your approach uh, when, you, when you answer to whatever is, uh, this week is throwing at you. Okay? Going into Gemini. Okay, what it, before we even go into the cards, what is interesting is I shuffled the cards, I got this, um, this children's song in my head. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. And obviously we're talking about herbal tea. So for the um, Geminis this week, make sure that you too go into detox and live as healthily 
as you possibly can. It's quite important because your energy levels tend to be a little lower this week and there are things that are not quite in the open yet um, where your soul is partly hiding. And, and what that means is you could be in a situation where you're not 100% comfortable but you make sure that nobody knows about it. You know, you just try to blend in and, and do your best, which is not necessarily a wrong thing, but it's not the most honest uh, uh, approach. And so what they're saying to you is, is to, um, um, you know, eat healthily. And also, while you are in the in flux and in the process of, um, well, progressing in uh, speaking your truth, um, there will be other changes coming your way, not this week, but there will be more changes coming your way and uh, so be prepared and allow for changes to happen. Remember the only constant in the universe is change and uh, many people embrace it and a lot of people uh, are scared by change. But really you have survived 100% of your, of your worst days so how difficult can change really be when you look at it from this point of view. So that's, that's your message. It's just I notice when my guides <laughs> sing to me this, this children's songs then the message is twofold. Number one, really go into detoxing and, and drink healthily. And then the other thing is because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a children's song, be lighthearted about things. That's really, really important. Okay? And now we are moving to the Cancerians. Okay, for the Cancerians this week, it's really, really important to, how can I phrase this best, take up the reins of your life and be in charge of your life this week. You might live in situations that are not perfect. You might live in situations that at the moment are probably not changeable. But as much as you can be in control of your life, uh, be in control of, of that life and the... Um, the, the, the loyalty this week should lie with you. So uh, treat yourself um, better than you normally do. Okay, dokie? That's that. And now finally we're moving into, into Leo. It's quite interesting because we always started with Leo. It sounds a bit weird when we, when we end with Leo now. But, you know, we're just out of the star sign Leo. We're in Virgo now. So we start, we, we end with Leo. So here's for you Leos out there. Ah. For you, for you Leos, it's going to be very likely a very easy week, if that makes sense, because um, you see things coming and new opportunities come your way that you can trust, that you have no idea where this is going. So try not to control anything, uh, because you really can't. Um, but this week opportunities will come to you and, and if you feel, yeah, there could be something uh, you would be interested in, then, then just go for it and trust. So trust is the main, the main message. But the good thing is that things will come to you, you don't have to fight over, over anything or, or try to um, make things happen. Let things come to you this week and you will just be fine. And that's all we have time for and I see you in a week.